seen through the eyes of our news cameras some of the highlights of the progress of IBM in the year 1956. The 650 assembly and testing department at Endicott, like all IBM manufacturing, is meeting a production challenge in keeping abreast of the phenomenal sales pace set by IBM's field force. The splendid teamwork of the company's sales representatives, applied science people and field technical specialists has resulted in outstanding sales achievements during 1956. Among these was the 500th installation of an IBM 650 computer. The 650s, which are assembled here at Endicott, are the most widely used medium-sized computers in the world. Nicknamed the workhorse of data processing, the 650 contains thousands of pluggable units, germanium diodes, and individual connections. SBC will have 650 computers in 16 locations to increase the company's ability to serve business and industry in all major regions of the country. Their tools are a complete line of IBM punched card equipment. At Poughkeepsie, other assembly teams are meeting a similar production challenge. For in 1956, IBM's field force passed another landmark with the 100th installation of a 700 series computer. A key feature of the 705 computer is the magnetic core memory unit. These units enable the 705 to remember 40,000 individual characters. Nearby, pluggable units, the small replaceable sections of the computer, are being produced and tested. Before delivery, the 705 is tested for about two months. More than a billion instructions are executed by the machine during this period. Customers who have already received these giant computers include insurance companies, airlines, banks, railroads, and utilities. Major corporations whose names read like a who's who of American industry. The rapid advance of IBM technology resulted in a new department at Poughkeepsie this year to produce high-quality transistors, the tiny equivalent of the vacuum tube. A transistor has an unlimited life, consumes very little power, gives off almost no heat, and requires much less space than would be needed for a vacuum tube. Transistors are made from single crystals of germanium grown in this furnace. The crystals are sliced to minute thinness then sorted in this unique machine, which was designed by IBM engineers. The completed transistors are mounted on a printed wiring card, each card the equivalent of a pluggable unit, to form the 608, the first commercially available transistorized computer. The 608 now points the way to the future of computer design and carries on the tradition of manufacturing ability and scientific leadership which are a part of the spirit of IBM. <laughs>